Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a science fiction film, Mirage. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. Mirage is a science fiction movie with some mature themes of extramarital affairs and scenes about time travel. This movie shows a ton of genres mixed into interesting scenarios that make viewers hook. The logic of the film is pretty apparent, which means if a person makes one small change to an event in the past, it might cascade into a substantial turn of events in the future. The movie shows that a person will do anything to fight for his or her family. It shows in Vera's life that family matters a lot, and she will do anything to be with her family at any cost. The movie also talks about the unending discussion about time travel. According to some physicists, theoretically, time travel is possible on both sides in the future and the past. This film brings that theory into reality. The story begins in 1989 during the fall of the Berlin Wall, when there is a 72-hour long electrical storm. While recording, Nico sees his neighbors fighting through the window. He goes to the house to see the situation. He is terrified of his neighbor's dog, but he still goes inside to check what's going on. He sees a Miss Weiss lying on the floor, and when he looks up, he sees Angel, the husband of Miss Weiss, holding a knife. Nico is terrified and tries to escape, so he runs as quickly as he can. But unfortunately, he is hit by a car on the road. Angel suddenly sits down on the floor with a terrified look. Nico's best friend, Ader, sees the accident. He is very shocked and cannot move his feet. The next scene introduces Vera. She is lying on the bed with her daughter, Gloria. They just moved to the house where Nico used to stay in 1989. Vera calls her husband, David, and discusses inviting Ader and his mother, Clara. Ader is David and Vera's close friend and also their neighbor. It states in the news that there is a storm similar to what happened in 1989. Vera works at the hospital as a nurse. She enters the operating rooms and talks to the head neurosurgeon. Vera quits medicine to focus on her daughter, Gloria. The weather seems not good and is about to rain. Vera enters the room and sees her husband, David, organizing his stuff. Vera sees David's picture with a woman named Ursula. It seems like they were a couple in the past. David tries to change the mood and throws funny jokes at Vera. Vera and David enter a room and see an old analog television and a camera. Vera plays the tape and sees the recorded video of Nico. The lights turn on and off and the old television suddenly opens and shows news that happened last 1989. The family is surprised, not understanding what's going on. The weather is getting worse. Aiton and his mother, Clara, eat dinner with Vera's family. Vera and David tell Aiton and Clara that the television suddenly turns on and shows news in the past. David mentions that they are watching the video of a boy. Aiton says that the boy is Nico Lassard, who happens to be his best friend. He says stories about Nico that their neighbor killed him. Aiton's mom, Clara, tries to stop him from telling the story, but Aiton is unstoppable. He says that Nico saw the crime scene. The lights suddenly turn on and off again, and Aiton still continues his story that when Nico saw that the neighbor killed his wife, he ran and was hit by a car and died. Clara shouts and asks Aiton to stop sharing the story with the family, because Gloria looks terrified already. Vera wakes up in the middle of the night due to the bad weather. The old television turns on and broadcasts news that happened in 1989. There is a clap of thunder and lightning and Vera tries to operate the television and finds Nico on the television. Vera and Nico are surprised and try to interact with each other. Vera tries to warn Nico about what will happen, but he cannot believe his eyes. When Nico's mother arrives home, he tells her that he talked to a woman in the future and warned her of what will happen. Vera wakes up on a hospital bed. The last thing that she remembers is her interactions with Nico. Vera enters the operating room, and the people call her Dr. Vera Roy. She cannot understand what's going on. The first thing that she looks for is her daughter, Gloria. She goes to Gloria's school, but no one recognizes her. Vera is so confused. She goes to the office of his husband, David, but he doesn't recognize her as well. Nico stays in his best friend's house, Aiton. Nico tells Aiton and his mom that he heard screams in the house of their neighbor, Angel. Aiton's mom, Clara, feels uneasy and asks Nico if he sees anything. Nico says he didn't see anything because of the television's noise. Vera goes to the police station and tells the inspector that her family cannot remember her. The inspector interrogates Vera. She tells the inspector that she talks to a boy in the past through the television. The inspector tells Vera that they checked her stories, but it seems like all of those things are just in her mind. Nico in the past tries to communicate to Vera, but he fails. He looks at the window and saw Angel and Aiton's uncle talking. Nico in the past looks suspiciously to the two people. 
Going back to the present, Vera is in the hospital, insisting to the neurosurgeon that she isn't a doctor. The neurosurgeon tries to make Vera remember that she is one of the doctors who is working in that hospital, showing her office and the awards that she had. Vera pushes back and insists that she has a daughter named Gloria. The neurosurgeon thinks that Vera is stressed out because she had operation days ago, and the patient died. That's why she creates imaginary people. She thinks that the reason why things suddenly changed was because she saved the boy and ego in the past. The inspector accompanies Vera to the hospital while she is searching for the truth. Nico in the past sees Angel left home, so he goes to their house to investigate. He senses that there is something wrong. He smashes the glass window and enters the house, while Angel is in the slaughterhouse packing tools. It seems like Angel has a bad intention in mind. Nico enters the house without permission. He checks the rooms and goes inside the toilet where he finds the dead body of Ms. Weiss. Nico is surprised and doesn't know what to do. Nico hides under the bed and finds a watch that has an engraved initial at the back. Angel goes inside the toilet and plays music while dividing the body of his dead wife. Vera in the future goes back to the old house of Nico and remembers her daughter. Vera is surprised to see the broken door. It seems like someone forcefully enters the house before her. Vera searches the house and looks for the old TV set and video recorder, but doesn't find any. She searches Nico Lassart murdered 1989 in the web, and is surprised to find that there is a book which tells the story of Nico. Vera is distracted when a woman suddenly enters the room. The woman grabs a baseball bat and threatens Vera, because she thinks that she is the one who breaks into their house forcefully. The woman says she is the owner of the house, but Vera exclaims that she is the one who owns the house. Vera is shocked when finding out that David is the husband of that woman. Vera tries to ask for help from David, but he cannot remember her. The lights suddenly turn off because of the bad weather, so Vera escapes and runs through the back door. She hides at the other house, while the police are searching for her. Vera is more surprised when she sees Angel and Clara. They are now husband and wife during that time. Nico in the past is still hiding under the bed when Angel receives a call from Clara. Clara tells Angel that she is scared and leaves her watch at his house. Angel tries to calm her. Clara goes back home and tells her son Ader that she will go to a regent to visit the new office, and his uncle Roman will take care of him while she is not around. In the present, Vera hides in the car of Aiton. She tries to make Aiton remember that they are friends, and he is the one who introduces her to David. Vera holds Aiton's hand and sees in her mind that Aiton isn't the one who is sitting in front of Vera on the train, but another person. She tells Aiden that Nico was hit by a car when Angel ran after him, because Nico saw that Angel killed his wife. Aiden doesn't believe it because he thinks that Ms. Weiss had an affair with another man and left Angel. His mother has not been married to Angel for 20 years. Vera pushes back and tells Aiden what really happened, but Aiden gets angry and walks away. In the airport, Vera sees the interview of the author of the novel Mirage, which was published two decades ago. That book talks about the life of Nico. According to the news in the novel, she describes how two symmetrical electrical storms occurred on November 9, 1989 and today. The author says she cannot see the future and her book is based on a story about a boy with schizophrenia, and his hallucination is so real that it inspires her to write the novel. According to the author, the person who told her the story is the mother of the boy who has schizophrenia. The inspector suddenly enters and talks to Vera. Vera asks the inspector how he finds out her whereabouts. The inspector says he knows that she's in David's house, and David tells him that he knows Ader Medina, who is a pilot. So the inspector assumes that Vera is at the airport. Vera and the inspector go to the library and look for the book Mirage. Vera tells the inspector that the hallucinations of the boy Nico in the novel Mirage is her, what happened to Nico is real. Vera asks the help of the inspector. They meet the author of the book Mirage. The author tells them that Nico's mother is the one who told her the story and wants to find out if the reason behind all the happenings on her son is because of a time-space warp. Vera asks the author for the whereabouts of the boy. The author says she doesn't know because the mother didn't tell her. The author thinks that the story of Nico is pure fantasy, but Vera pushes back and tells that she is the woman in the future that Nico talks about. Vera is really determined to get her family life and family back, so she asks the help of the inspector. She says that she needs the old television and the video camera. Vera remembers the future, when she and her husband David checks the news about how Angel killed his wife. She remembers that Angel put his wife in the slaughterhouse. The police go to the slaughterhouse and find the body of Ms. Weiss, but they think suspicious of Vera. They are curious about how Vera knows that the body is buried there. That's why they need to detain Vera. 
Vera tries to convince the inspector to help her get her family back, because she really misses her daughter. The inspector helps Vera by releasing her, and gives her some credit card information about Nico and an address. While Angel is celebrating his birthday, the police officers come to his house to arrest them, because of the skeletal that was found in their slaughterhouse. Angel, Clara, and her brother go to the police station for interrogation. Vera visits the address. There, she's surprised to find the bank employee David cheating on his wife by maintaining an extramarital affair with a nurse, who he met during his surgery. Therefore, Vera blackmails David to get information about Nico. Inspectors investigate Angel, Victor, and Clara about the death of Ms. Weiss, Angel's wife. Angel has a perfect alibi. He says that his wife will visit a friend in San Narciso. He declares that his wife was preparing to return to Berlin. But the inspector says he is lying, because Ms. Weiss doesn't want to go back to Germany. Ms. Weiss calls Angel, and says that the road to San Narciso is closed for the storm, so she needs to spend the night there. Angel calls Clara right away to inform her that his wife will not be home. But they didn't know that Ms. Weiss already has feelings that Angel is hiding something from her. Ms. Weiss enters the house and finds that Clara and her husband Angel have an affair. Ms. Weiss goes upstairs with a knife and finds Angel and Clara caressing each other. There is a commotion, and when Angel pushes Ms. Weiss, Clara accidentally stabs her, and Ms. Weiss falls to the second floor of the house. The inspectors insist that Angel killed his wife and has an accomplice. They say that according to Nico's speech, he saw a watch with small engraving CM on it. They ask for Clara's watch and find that it belongs to Clara. According to the inspector, Clara pretends to be Ms. Weiss to make her disappear with the help of Victor, Clara's brother, who is working at the airport. Clara uses the passport of Ms. Weiss and goes to Berlin. Angel pushes back and says that Nico is lying. Back then, Angel knows that someone forcefully entered his house. Nico goes to the police and reports that Angel killed his wife. But Angel already reported to the police that someone broke into their house and stole a gold watch. Angel says that his wife left him for an ex-boyfriend in Germany. Nico's mother pushes back and believes that her son isn't lying. But the inspector says that they checked the bank account of Ms. Weiss, finding that there are lots of transactions in Berlin. They also check the list of passengers who flew to Berlin and find Ms. Weiss's name, which strengthens the alibi of Clara and Angel. They think that Nico is hallucinating because he talks to a woman in the past. They force Nico to apologize and return the watch. They think Nico has already stopped thinking about Vera, but they are wrong. Nico continues to look for Vera. Vera is surprised to learn that Inspector Lara is Nico Lassard, who is in a relationship with her in this reality. Inspector Lara says that he unknowingly prevented Vera from meeting David and Aiton because of his eagerness to wait for her for years. Vera asks Inspector Lara to correct the events using the TV set and video recorder. Vera then commits suicide so that Inspector Lara will have to save her. Lara contacts his childhood self by use of the TV and recorder. Vera then wakes up to the time when David was her husband and Gloria was her daughter. However, she finds out that David is still cheating on her with the affair. She then reports to the police on a body hidden beneath the slaughterhouse. Later, she meets the coming inspector Lara, and hopes to start a new relationship with him. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your fun for today.